Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we're going to continue our breed study for 2023. We're still in the English collection, and today we're going to be taking a look at Teeswater. So, uh, again, I got these um, from Hearthside Fibers. I paid for them out of my own pocket, uh, so... I'm not getting sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But if you're interested in uh, following along or getting any of these fibers, the link will be in the description below. So, um, I have not spun Teeswater before. I know that it's a long wool breed. So, let's take a look at what it says here. Of course, the breed origin is from England. This says it's 40 to 60 microns. Average staple length is 150 to 300 millimeters, which is 6 to 12 inches. Now, um, take a look at it in the Field Guide to Fleece. And I don't remember, did I show the uh, Swaledale that we did last week? That's what the sheep look like. I don't remember if I showed them or not. But here is the Teeswater. Okay. Uh, got some dreadlocks going on there. Um, uh, let's see, so it says here, it's uh, of course Origins England, fleece weight seven and a half to 18 pounds, which is three and a half to eight and a quarter kilograms. This says the staple length is 12 to 15 inches versus this where it's saying six to 12 inches. So I'm wondering if this, if, if they took that length off of this, maybe this came off of a lamb or something. I don't know. Um, so 12 to 15 inches, 30 to 38 centimeters. Uh, first clip six inches for subsequent twice a yearly clips. Okay, so they trim them twice a year. Six inches, 15 centimeters. Okay, fiber diameters, 30 to 36 microns, which is very significantly different from the 40 to 60 that this says. Natural colors are white. Uh, the Tees Water Breed is named for the River Tees, which meanders 85 miles, 137 kilometers, from the Pennies to the North Sea. Tees Water Sheep are being produced in North America through up, upgrading, and the fleece of American Tees Waters may have the characteristics of the Foundation Breed mixed with those of the British Tees Water Sire. Okay. It's another uh, conservation breed, um, offering both length and luster. Teeswater fleeces are also finer than those of most English long wools. The, the long, wavy, smooth, surface locks. Uh, I must be somebody doing something out there. Sounds like got a leaf blower or something going on outside. Let me try to continue here. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't uh, interfere too much. The long, wavy, smooth surface locks, free of all kemp and dark fibers, hang individually and don't clump together. Spin directly from the locks or use them unspun to make a fleece rug. You can open the locks by flicking or comb using long strokes because of the length and strength of the fibers. To draft very long fibers effectively, keep your hands far apart. And there goes my cat now. Uh, effects of dyes. Tease water's luster makes it a great candidate for dyeing, so expect brilliant results. Best uses. A wonderful weaving yarn. Tease water is exceptionally durable without being stiff or scratchy. Knitted or crocheted items will drape well. Look sleek and shiny and have terrific stitch definition. Lay the wool unspun directly into woven, crocheted, or other ground fabrics. It is a reluctant felting wool. Okay, interesting uh, wool. So let's take a look at the actual wool that we got here in our sample. Let's see what we got. Put that aside. So it is kind of soft. Uh, let's on, open this up a bit. Let me pull off a. Ooh, look at that. 
let me get another one just the one's not right on the end here so we can go with that wow let me see if i can kind of line them up together that is some incredible staple length and we get the ruler out here this only goes up to six inches so we're going to take a look and it's Hold it over the ends, except about eight inches is what we got for our staple length of these locks. So, um, yeah, let me uh, get my wheel set up. Uh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna spin this, what would be the best way. I don't think I ever spun anything. Well, we did that one that was like an eight inch lock as well. We'll just uh, spin and see what we get out of it. So, be right back. <music>
Okay, it's so the next day. The fiber has been wet, finished, and hung up to dry. And here we go. We have our lovely cheese water. We got about 28 yards. Um, it's a worsted weight, actually, this time. About nine wraps per inch. The fiber is very soft, very silky feeling. It doesn't have a huge amount of stretch to it, but that, I think that's a normal characteristic for long wools. Um, it does have a fair amount of squish to it, so I'm going to give it that. Um, this was actually very joyful to spin. It spun very nicely for me. Um, it was only uh, eight inch locks, or what, what was it? Eight inch locks, yeah. But it could be anywhere up to 12 to 15 inches normally. So it might be a little different if we had the actual much longer <laughs> locks on it. Uh, this has incredible, incredible drape. So this would make an absolutely wonderful shawl or scarf or something that, that needs a lot of flow. Um, I don't know if it'd work for a hat or a, or a, a sweater or anything like that because it doesn't really have, you know, the stretch to it. Um, but it's still very, very lovely fiber to work with, and I highly recommend it. Um, so what are your thoughts? Have you ever spun tease water, or, or have you only ever worked with, you know, the locks as they are? Um, a lot of people I know, you can get the locks, and they're already been painted and whatnot, and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, but have you ever actually spun them into yarn and what was what was your opinion um and what was your story with them so i'd love to hear that uh, so we have two left in our english and then we'll go on to the global series next so next week we are looking at wensleydale so there's the wensleydale uh let's see a little preview on this one uh this one's another long wool uh, 8 to 12 inch locks so 200 to 300 millimeters 40 to 50 microns, so about the same softness it should be as the tease water. So we'll have to see what all what, what we think of it next week. So until then, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting. <laughs>